Hi guys, welcome back. It's Smita and I'm here with another brand new tutorial for you guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this beautiful angel wing on hooded eyes. Probably the easiest way to do it is on hooded eyes. This is a very popular Brazilian type of eye makeup. It's called angel wings because it looks like angel wings. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and without further ado, let's begin. How about we begin with the brows and then we can move on to the eyes to fill in the sparse areas. I'm going to be using my favorite brow pencil. This is the Precisely My Brow from Benefit Cosmetics in the shade 4.5. And if you want more information on how to use different brow products like the gel and pomades and powders and pencils and pens i'm going to link that video right in the description box below this video and then using the milani concealer i'm in the shade 145 by the way i'm going to clean up underneath the brows and also use the concealer on my lids as a base for the eyeshadows later setting it with the airspun translucent powder to just make the blending easy Let's start by recognizing hooded eyes. Let's look straight in the mirror and see how much of your lid space you can actually see. If you can barely see or if you can't see your lid space because it's hiding under some extra meat or hood, then you have hooded eyes. With hooded eyes, you can usually see a crease line passing right across the lid, which will also hide under the hood. So if you apply your eye makeup up to your crease, you won't be able to see a thing. So I'm going to use the eyeshadows to create a new crease line above my natural crease line. I'm going to be using the Gilded Eyeshadow Palette from Milani in Noir. I'm going to first dip into Entitled with a small blending brush from Folklore. I'm looking straight in the mirror and I'm going to mark the area where I want my new crease to be. So when I open my eyes, I should be able to see that crease. And then I'm going to blend and soften it up. That was the transition shade. Now I'm going to deepen the crease just to give some dimension. And I'm dipping into Lust with the same blending brush and I'm going to focus this right at the crease. And again, I'm going to keep on blending and softening the eyeshadow till it melts into the transition shade. So you get that beautiful gradient. Again, this is my natural crease line and I'm going to cut the crease right about that. I'm looking straight in the mirror with the Milani concealer. I'm going to mark the area where I want to do the cut crease. I'm using a concealer brush from Colourpop and then I'm going to paint my lid space. I like to diffuse the ends with my finger just to make the blending easy. I'm using some more of the airspun loose powder to set my lid space in the inner third and I'm using a flat shader brush by Hip Dot. And almost right in the center, a little towards the outer end, I'm going to be using Don't Ask which is a beautiful metallic shimmery silver shade and I'm going to blend it out with a deeper brown shade in the outer corner. The eye makeup looks so pretty in itself. You can use this for any special event or occasion, but let's focus on the wing today. Using bubbly, I'm going to highlight my brow bones. I'm going to quickly clean up underneath for any fallouts, apply some foundation and use lust in my lower lash line. I'm going to smoke it out using a pencil brush. In my waterline, I'm using a black coal kajal pencil from O Natural. Whenever I do angel wings, I like to mark the outer corner with a black eyeshadow first. 
So I'm going to be using some black eyeshadow with an angled brush and I'm going to be extending my lower lash line in the same direction and I'm going to go just above the new crease that I've created. Now I'm going to be using a gel liner. This is the Ofra gel liner in black. I'm going to join the tip of this wing with the new crease that I've created in the outer third. And then I'm going to connect the other end with my lash line going over my fold. That'll create a small gap. All I have to do now is join that gap and fill in the wing. The brush that I'm using is from Juno, which I'm going to link down below in the description box. I'm going to first fill the wing with the gel liner and then go over it with the black eyeshadow. All we have to do now is to smoke out the wing and you guys know my favorite way to do this is with a Q-tip. So I'm taking some black eyeshadow with a Q-tip and I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line as well as the lower part of the wing. You can see how smoked out and soft that looks and it has started to look like an angel wing. To line my top lash line, again I'm using the Ofra gel liner. Next I'm going to finish up with some mascara and lashes. For mascara I'm using Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit Cosmetics. And for lashes I'm using my favorite lashes from Black Label. These are in brazen. I especially love them because they wing outwards and these are perfect for an eye makeup look like this. I'm using a little bit more of bubbly to highlight my inner corner and here is the completed eye makeup look. Because the eyes are so dramatic I decided to pair it with a softer lip color so I'm using Fade Out from Carity. And here is the completed look, the beautiful Brazilian angel wing style. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something new. Let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, please take a moment to subscribe. I post new videos every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. For your information, I've listed everything that I've used in this tutorial in the description box right below this video and you'll also find my socials there. So you might as well follow me there for a little bit extra chatting and for that personal touch. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys!